And welcome everyone to What Grinds My Gears in Path of Exile, Episode 1. In this little side program I will be taking up some different questions and discussions and whatnot about Path of Exile. And uh, for the first episode I'll be talking about uh, this here. There were some conversations in the game recently with uh, Chris myself and a lot of other people and the first thing here was someone asked about uh, or well rather before Chris show up, showed up we were having a huge discussion about you need to spend a lot of points in the passive tree that you you just get stats from it strength dexterity and so on it it doesn't really give you anything, any attack speed or whatever, really. And you just have to go a long way on what some refer as to node highways. And you have to go a really, really a long way to get to something, well, something special, something that feels more fun. And Chris uh, showed up in the discussion here and answered um, that uh, there's going to be less attribute nodes in 9.4 and that's sweet also that they're going to reinstate the harsher attribute requirements on items so it won't be so easy to more or less get whatever item you want you will have to you will have to have a lot more on your well base stats I presume I didn't play the game in uh, 8.9, so I don't really know how hard it was back then, but making it a bit harder, that, that that would be nice, honestly, because at the moment I can pretty much more or less use almost any item whatsoever, since I get so much stats boost from all the extra attribute po points I get all over. So if we move on to the next tier, um, will it include gems also with uh, the harsher attribute requirements? And as you can see here, support gems are lower requirements than skill gems. And so I guess they'll th they might be buffing the the how do you say? The stronger or the better ones, the the more rarer and more powerful support games, and uh, the ones that aren't so good, they will lower the requirements of them. Also, Chris said here that they're going to remove a lot of the base armor types. For instance, like he's saying here, they have 84 different types of gloves. Uh, yeah. The, that could be a bit overkill, yes. <laughs> so, by removing a lot of those base things and just sticking to some, they, they can still... Um, well, it's a lot easier to balance and tweak and stuff when you have less things instead of having a million ones. To, kind of like when you... if you would work in a restaurant, I mean, if you have ten different dishes to fix in the kitchen as a chef that's okay instead of having like 50 different dishes then you then you can keep your standards and quality and well do a better job basically it's easier to manage Let's see here and um, smash then asked if they are going to have items that are on item level past level 60 for instance 70 or 80 or um, I think someone even asked about level 90 and 100 in between there also which Chris here states that yes they are and they're going to have it in act 3 so that, that's that's really great to hear so we're going to find a lot well a lot stronger items basically which it sounds logical I mean they add another act and <laughs> we need better items, of course. 
let's see here. Uh, oh, here, and Haplo. Uh, just to clear things up, Chris. AoE increase does make Shock Nova worse. No, it doesn't make Shock Nova worse, does it? And no, it does not. It moves the. Well, you know, the, the strongest damage you do, the 100%, is the closest to you. So you, uh, you actually expand the area that you do 100%. Like, uh, Smash Smash says here. Chris, you mean adds extra radius that counts for 100% damage, right? So, I, I didn't know that. Actually, I thought it only increased the... Um, well, the, the maximum range of it. I didn't know... I didn't know that it's also moved the... The 100% area that it hit. So, that's really a sweet thing to know there. See here, um, and well, we've heard this a lot of times. Will there be a camera zoom out in 9.4? It's not intended to be in 9.4. Short and consists, and I can't remember anything more about this really. Will selling items be back in 9.4? Probably not, but soon. I didn't even know that there even was one before, but. It, still, it will be mighty interesting to see how. I mean, how, how was it handled before, or how is it going to be handled now? Do you, will we get orbs or items, or can we trade in for another item, or do we get orbs and scrolls when we sell an item, or well, how will it be handled? I have no clue really. I'm really eager to get to know how it's going to be done. And the next one here, from Aura. So how are the key keystones coming? Because I am looking forward to see some more unique passives. There will be 12 of them in 9.4. And for you, for you who don't know what they mean when they talk about keystones, I added in that thing from the dev slog here. We want to have keystone passives that exhibit massive character changing properties such as allowing dual wielding of two two-handed weapons as a keystone strength passive, for example, replacing these very built defining passives in positions that makes it difficult to get more than a few on a given character. These passives are not restricted to a specific character class, but generally synergizes with strategies of the attributes they are placed in. So, for instance, like the one here, that you would be you would be able to have a, a two-handed weapon in each hand and dual wield them. That that would be synergized with strength then, so it's probably going to be hidden bit into the strength part so to utilize that and get the maximum out of it you're probably going to have a lot of strength I presume at least logically I mean melee strength more melee damage yeah and so on and probably they're going to do the same thing with uh, intelligence and and dexterity do the same there, add different things that, well, any class could get them, but they wouldn't be as good with them as, well, the specific class, for instance. Like the Marauder would be better with dual wielding two-handers, because it's built for strength. And the Marauder would not be that good, really, with taking the ones from the other trees, but he could still do it. if. Well, if you would like it. Let's see here, and um, Mr. Golok. Is there a chance that curses with melee classes are reliant upon to not have requirements for shit such as int and dexterity, vulnerability, elemental weakness, critical weakness, as well as support games added lightning and such? Well, I can't more than agree then, because th there are a lot of support things, like curses for instance, that 
Well, you need a shitload of intellect or dexterity or this and that and... I mean, there might be some curses that... Just for your specific build or playstyle or whatever, you, you really like to use that, but... You can't, because you need to be... <laughs> I mean, you, you need to be a goddamn... Conan the Barbarian to be able to throw a curse. Or you need... <laughs> you need to be goddamn Xavier with a huge intelligence. Or a huge intellect to be able to use some certain curses, but... Aren't they all curses? Elemental weakness and so on and so on. I mean, they are the same, but they require different things. It's just very weird. The requirements will change a lot in 9.4. Some supports will be easier. Well, thank God for that, Chris. Salute for that one, because... Yeah, it, it's just a pain in the ass, really. Uh, Chris, when will we see Act 3? Early next year! Well, people, early next year. What is early next year? Really? Is it January? February? I, I guess it depends on who you ask, really. But... Well, I, I hope for, say, in the middle of January, or at the end of January. Th that would be sweet. Or if, when Act 3 comes, Open beta will show up soon after that. That would be really sweet. At least in my opinion. Let's see here, uh, dirt balls. Oh, sorry, <laughs> dirty balls. Dirty balls. Oh dear God. I think all orbs should be less rare. Crafting needs to be more part of the game. Oh right. Um, uh, yeah, as Chris said there. Today's patch makes Chaos Alchemy Shands more common, and well, they actually did. Uh, one of the recent patches increased the drop rate of them dramatically, but still, some of them has a pretty bad drop rate, really. So even if I can't remember if it was Alchemy or whatever, one of them was heightened by a hundred percent drop rate, but but. Still, a hundred percent increase on an extremely low, low drop rate. That that doesn't do much, really. But but still, I mean, it's something. It's something, you know. And I can understand the frustration with people that. I mean, I, I remember before this patch, people were running like crazy on the the ledge. And chaos, farming, 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 and now they hardly saw any orbs at all, and. I mean, it, it's annoying. I mean, w when you find a certain item that you you really you really want to tweak around and play with it and craft around and see see how good you can get it, and you're just not getting enough orbs to be able to do it. And then th that particular part about crafting and changing the items you found, which I find to be a huge one of the biggest fun parts of um, of the game really to craft with your gear and play around and fix it and before the patch I felt myself that I saw a lot of drops at least on the low level orbs but now I I've been getting more high level drops I felt and I got less low level drops But well, sure, sure, I still, I still got a decent amount of the low-level ones. But before the pa this patch, uh, 9.3, I got a lot more. So now I'm just well, I I'm not spending and playing around as much as, as I did before the patch, and that's that's a bit sad, really. It, it was really fun, but I hope this will have uh, changed it. For the most part. I, I haven't played so much recently, I've had too much work to do, but I've talked to some people and it seemed to have gotten a lot better now. A lot better now at least, so well let's just hope for the best. Um let's see here Corvax Chris, any plans for speciality chat oh right, chat channels. 
topics and then like help trade so not glo so not that the global chat will be spammed and all that. I, I can understand the frustration there. I mean, they, dear lord, a lot of us remember the, the start of World of Warcraft when the chat channels were not working that good really. Oh dear lord, everything was in the main channel and oh my god. It's a real pain. I mean, now, now in the closed beta, it, it's not so bad still. I mean, I, I quite enjoy watching all the different discussions and seeing trade and everything happen. But w when when they open the floodgates and go into open beta, oh dear lord, that's going to be mighty annoying then. So many questions. Hey, where's Creighton? I can't find him. Ugh. Um. Where's pools and streams? Oh dear lord. <laughs> oh, if, we got a, if we got an orb of alchemy for every time someone asked you that. Oh. Chris, Corvax. Yeah, we want to get the chat sorted out better soon. Thank you for that, Chris. Uh, ah, and here's me. Uh, I'm playing my Grinkelmeister. That's my... Uh, my Templar, that I'm playing at the moment. He's a dual wielding summoner, and I'm going for dexterity things. Yeah. Yeah, think about it for a moment, people. <laughs> uh, Chris, any plans on mercenaries in the final version? Or a dog or something? Companions are always a fun thing. From Chris. Grinkel, no comments yet. Bastard. Lurk will throw Russell's box at you for this. Well, basically, companions. I mean, mercenaries. Diablo 2, Torchlight with a dog. Well, anything, really. Fallout, dog meat. I mean, come on. Mercenaries, companions, they're, they're fun. I mean, you can tweak around with them, give them better gear, they help you out, and... It's just more fun. I mean, the more the merrier. At least, at least I think so. It feels a lot more fun, but I mean, no comment yet. No comment yet. I don't know. Chris is a sneaky bugger, so I don't really know. But he's not saying no, and I mean, the devs have stated a strong, clear no on a lot of things, and other things they've just been saying that it will come then and it will come later or at that point or after that but here no comment mm. tricky tricky but me myself I, I believe they they will add mercenaries or companions or whatever at least something that can go along maybe give an hour of Something in the ways, perhaps, of the Diablo 2's mercenaries or Torchlight with a dog, Fallout dog me, I don't know, but some something in those wa in those ways at least it would be pretty sweet actually. See, at least I think so. Uh, and then I thanked Chris for, well, I mean Chris and a lot of the other other developers. They're they're constantly talking showing support and answering questions, giving feedback and fast feedback, a lot of fast feedback and I've actually never been involved in a game before or a beta where the developers are so I mean they're so open for discussion and it's they don't really wave around with the flags that we're the developers, we don't have time for you, blah blah blah, blah. go away scrubs, ugh they're... No, it's... It's a, it's a really nice change. Actually, the... <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still a bit puzzled about how... Well, how, how nice and open and everything they are. So, yeah. Um, besides that, I... I don't really have anything more this time really. Um, 
After playing through Act 1 and Act 2 on normal with Lurk, I must say that I was extremely pleased also with it, with the whole thing. Um, even though I mostly used uh, Heavy Strike more or less through the whole gameplay, but the sound of Heavy Strike, it's... Oh, it's extremely satisfying, that skill. The, the sound, the animation, everything. And a huge extra damage, dear lord. I, I just got a new um, a new two-hander, a uh, spear from Gorlock. Oh dear lord, I mean, I'm just level, what, 23 or 24, and my heavy strikes now do over 1k damage. It's... it's insane. I went... Uh, I'm on the sec... Oh no, I'm on the second lap now, on... Uh, What's that? Was it cruel? Yeah, yeah, cruel, cruel, right? Uh, when I got that spear, I went from like four to ten hitting mobs to going back to how it was on normal with one to three hitting mobs again, and doing over one k damage at that early stage. It <laughs> oh, it's really satisfying, really, and. Uh, if they implement that thing with dual wielding two-handers, oh dear lord, it's going to be just like it was with uh, Lurk when I played uh, Dungeons and Dragons, the pen and paper version. Was Lurk uh, was always a half orc, uh, dual wielding two-handers and whatnot. Ah, oh, well, those were the days. But the game at the moment, it's. It's incredibly fun, really, and the huge amount of variation you can get from the passive tree at the moment, it's, it, it's mind-boggling, really. And <laughs> if they're going to keep expanding it with more, uh, and then and we still have another class coming, I'm still wondering what it's going to be. I mean, intellect and dexterity, I mean, it could be... Uh, Intellect and dexterity, I mean. Fast magic using thing, I mean, it could be an assassin, a battle mage. Oh god knows. Demon hunters, or. I don't know. Well, whatever, it's. It's going to be sweet, and. I'm really excited to see what what's going to show up here uh, in the nearest weeks here. It's going to be really, really interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have much more to say on this at the moment. So I think I'll just throw this together and throw it out and I hope you like it. This is uh, the Mokathai at Swedish Tavern, signing off.